Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, for this video today, I want to share with you what I've been working on for the past few months, and I'm just going to jump right in and get to the point, so maybe this video is not super long. Okay, so if you watch my um, grocery haul videos, you may have seen the past couple months the meal planning sheets, notebooks that I've been showing that I do my meal planning in, and I'm starting to get lots of questions about it. So I figured, hey, it's time to share it with you guys. And I just, they're not complete. Okay, so I've been, that's what I've been working on, uh, is making my own meal planning notebooks. They're not completely done. They're still a work in progress, I feel like. But I'm totally new to all this, so I'm just, I'm learning. It's taken a while to learn all this, how to make these notebooks, and I'm trying to perfect them. So I want to show with you what I've come up with so far, and just kind of get your opinion, and just see what y'all think. Okay, so I'll start out showing you the one, the main one that I've been using. So for the covers, I've just been using like scrapbook paper that you can find at like Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby or anywhere. The boards I've been using for the cover and I've had to do a lot of research on what to buy. I've tried different things which I'm going to show you, um, but I had to buy these chipboards off of mybinding.com and they have different sizes. I think I've picked a pretty good thickness and they come pre-punched. So that was good. Here's, you can buy all different kinds of scrapbook paper from the stores. I'm getting mainly food ones, but also different colored, different pretty ones. There's the ice cream and cupcake one again, which I really like. I think it's really pretty. There's flower ones. So I just cover the chipboard on the front cover. I have to use this uh, strong glue stick to glue it on there. And then you open it up and I added another sheet. On the inside, just so like the cardboard part isn't showing, I made a little folder, like a little pocket file thing. Um, I was thinking like to use for receipts. And then the templates on the inside, I actually had to create myself because I can't... So there's lots of templates, if you Google meal plan templates, um, for free that you can print off online. But my goal is to maybe, maybe sell these one day, so I had to come up with my own templates which I did. I got the ideas from other ones, but I had to go and uh, recreate it from scratch myself. So I've just been messing around. I've made two different templates and then I've just turned them into different colors, just playing around with different colors. So, so here's the two templates I've come up with. And then just making them into different colors. So all I've had, all I have so far is one week meal planning sheets. I know some people do two week. I know some people do monthly meal plans. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about today and just kind of learn about how do you meal plan and do you meal plan. And then on the back, which I find really helpful for myself. So on the front page, I plan out my breakfast, snacks, lunches, and dinners. And then I put what I need for those meals over here. And then on the back, I have it to where you can... Oh, the kids wrote all over this one. And then on the back, I have it to where I can split it up by category or whatever to make it easier when I'm grocery shopping and then down here I like to get track of my inventory as I'm doing my meal planning so that I can use up what we have on hand and not waste so much food okay and there's the front these look simple but I actually have had to do a lot of work into figuring out how to make these so this is an 8 by 11 pretty big um, one thing the first thing I did I attempted, oh my god, there's so much info to share. Okay, so the main, I really, really enjoy this. The thing that I don't, I'm not super happy about is I feel like it's not super professional um, with this these uh, coils that I got. I also ordered these off mybinding.com and I had to order a pack of 100. So I have 100 of these. I don't love them as far as looking professional, but I don't have a problem using it for myself, but I have a hundred of them, so I hate the idea of not using them. Uh, you can order them in different colors, but they all come in packs of a hundred, and uh, I also don't like, because they're plastic, so I can't like, I mean, it's really easy to take on and off, but I can't like bend, I don't know how to bend this part down to keep it from moving up and down, so that's a little bit annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. I've also considered like laminating the front and the back, just so it's more, you know, sturdy and durable and it's okay if it gets wet and stuff but that would like make it cost quite a bit more and have to buy like a laminating machine and all that kind of stuff I also kind of wish that I had something on here that said my meal planner 
uh, I think I could get like a sticker machine and do sticker paper and do that. Um, but then again, I feel like if I did that, I would need to put the laminating, the laminate stuff over it to make it look even more professional. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't really plan out this video. I'm just kind of all over the place. Um, but those are just some thoughts. That's why I feel like I haven't perfected it yet. Uh, but this is what I have so far. I've been using this one for the past couple months. I really enjoy it. But I don't know if it's good enough quality to where someone else would actually purchase it. And I started out, this was the first one I made before I bought all those coils. You can buy like jewelry wire from those craft stores also. And you take a pin and you wrap the wire around the pin. And so that's what I did with this one. So that's really time consuming. So I wouldn't want to do that with all of them. And then this was when I first started out. Uh, I got this paper and then I used um, just like regular glue to glue it on the front and it's all like wavy and it's not flat so that's why I had to figure something else out that wasn't going to work so I got this craft bond extra strength glue and that's what I use to glue this paper on here and it's coming out more smooth and it's not warping or anything so that was one I made before but I'm not keeping it I just was playing around and then I also attempted to paint a board, but it warped also, and it's just not that great quality. And then I also attempted to make my own cover and print it out, and I uh, put Mod Podge over it to try to stick it, um, and it's just not working out like this. But if I had small, if I was making smaller notebooks, I feel like something like this would work out better. I could buy the sticker paper, do it over a smaller one. So I also eventually created a small one. Wow, I really am all over the place. Um, and this video is already super long. Okay, so I gave my mom one of my meal planning notebooks to test out and give me her thoughts on, which I went over there the other day. She has been using it. Not, she doesn't go into much detail like I do. Uh, but that's okay it's just her and her husband and then here's another one I played around with just a pretty fruit cover and then she or I read somewhere someone made a comment on it just something totally different not not anything to do with me but how they wouldn't want to go into a store carrying you know an eight and a half by eleven notebook so they prefer smaller ones so I was like well let's try making a small one so I made a small one there's the different sizes. This is the only one I've made in this size so far because I just happened to have a piece of cardboard that I was able to cut into this size. I can't cut these into that size because they're already pre-cut. Uh, I'd have to order some more chipboards, but I'm just not really wanting to spend a lot of money until I kind of get y'all's opinions. But I do think these little ones are really cute. I love this cover. And I also made more other templates for this small one just for people maybe that they don't want to go into as much detail as me but I just kind of made these really quick I haven't put a lot of work into these ones yet so there we go I also have researched you know like the type of paper to use because uh, just the regular thin cheapest paper since I'm doing front and back stuff I didn't want it to um, bleed through too much and be able to see it so I bought like a fancier paper a more thicker paper I bought all these pretty papers to use on the insides like I showed you oh and the paper that I've been buying is not pre punched because I was trying to keep it as cheap as possible and save money so all <laughs> I'm such a nerd all these papers yeah I had to go and punch all these holes into them with my little hole puncher I can do like five pages at a time so it's not too bad um, but so it is pretty time consuming doing it that way it's just I don't know I think I need to play around with different spirals and coils or whatever you call them uh, but I just don't want to spend a lot of money yet so I just want to get your guys opinion what do you think about this my little idea and do you like it like it is or do you think that what do you think would make it better gosh I wish I could make a video without it being over 10 minutes long and if this were to work out I, I calculated the cost of what it cost me to make one of these and it was almost three dollars and fifty cents so I was thinking you know if I ever charged for something I was thinking about ten dollars because it, it also does you know take a bit of time to put one together I mean ten dollars I feel like is a lot but then again it's, it's not I don't know but I'm just 
you know, I'm a frugal person. I don't like to spend a lot of money. I don't know what other people like to spend. And then there's also like shipping costs. So these are just thoughts that have been running through my head that I've thought about so far. I'm doing this because like this is something that I'm passionate about. Passionate about what I've been doing for a long time is I would just print out the papers um, online, like I said, for free, and I would, you know, be walking around the store, be walking around the house, getting my inventory, or being at the store trying to check stuff off, and I just have this flimsy paper getting all wrinkled up, folded, put in my purse, get out of the way and stuff, and so I was thinking to myself one day, I wish I had a bunch of these papers in a notebook so that it would be more sturdy and I could carry it around and not worry about it being all crazy. And, you know, I would have them all right there in one spot. I wouldn't have to go print them every couple weeks. And so that's how I came up with the idea of making these. And it's just something that I am really into is meal planning and having cute notebooks. So that's why I'm doing it. I'm not just like, I don't know. I just feel weird like, you know, doing something that requires people spending money. But I put a lot of work into them. And like I said, I care about it. So that's my main question is would you guys ever spend money on something like this I'm not asking you like to buy from me I'm just wanting your opinion and I have looked there are some other mill playing notebooks out there but I just wanted something simple like this so I've just kind of created exactly what I would want so with that being said I want to do a giveaway and make one of these as is for you just since it's free I think that that would be fun to do a giveaway so if any of you are interested in trying to win one of these, I'm going to put a few questions in the description box below. So just answer those questions. That's how you can get entered in. Um, if you would like to give your opinion but don't want, don't care to have one, that's not going to hurt my feelings. I would still really appreciate your opinions. It would be really helpful. Um, I don't know who else to turn to except for my YouTube friends, you guys, uh, to get more input on this. I've been asking people I know, but nobody meal plans the way that I do. So um, I know some of you do and some of you asked about it. That's why I wanted to share this video with you guys. You know, I'm thinking of creating like a Facebook page or maybe if this were to work out, you know, maybe like a Etsy account somehow. I don't know. I'm still learning. So if you'd like to win one, just answer the questions below. And then also these are the papers that I have on hand. So tell me which one you would want if you won. There's hearts, there's pizza, cherries, there's a pretty flower one, another pretty flower one, just a plain color, there's the uh, one like I've been using, and then there's a rainbow one. So if you'd like to win one, you know, just say which cover you would want. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really didn't want this to turn out super long, but it always does. But I was excited to share with you and show you all the work that I've been doing trying to figure these out. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.